Hi from the Heartland, y'all. It's Square Peg with no hot water and negative 5 degree Fahrenheit temperatures. It is officially winter, yes. And we're going to take a little look at the doings and happenings in the life of Travis Scott. Travis Scott, that is not his given name, which was a very long thing, ended in Webster the second, I believe, but I didn't go there. Travis Scott, the name equals 166, all added up. He was born April 30th of 1991 in Houston, Texas. On April 20th of 2020, he did a collaboration with Fortnite, similar to the one that Eminem just did in December, December 2nd, I believe. I don't know if the one with Eminem had a name, but this one did, and it was called Astronomical. And I looked it up, actually, because I, I was thinking nomenclature. Was it names or nominal? That made me think numbers, and I wanted to be sure. So astronomical, astro, huge numbers, big numbers. It means something very large and um, calculated or added up using numbers. But I do still kind of hear that nomenclature in there, so I'm thinking names as well. But if you think of uh, constellations... Astronomy, you know, stars, their names and locations are often the same thing. Numbers are their names, right? Anyway, interesting. 564 days after this event was this crowd crush at the Astro World Festival in Houston, Texas, where he was born. And it happened on, remember, remember, the 5th of November in 2021. I don't, I didn't look it up again to find out what the final number of people who died during this concert was, but it was definitely news, and many, many decoders out there were decoding it at the time, trying to figure out all the esoterics and the weird symbolism and strange energy creatures that were hopping through the crowd and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, I don't know, but some people did actually die. This is how the story goes. I don't, I don't doubt that story. So, from then, plus 808 days, leads to January 22nd of 2024, which is nine days from now. All right, circling back to 2023, we have this Circus Maximus film that was released along with the Utopia album. They are one day apart. I'm not really sure why. This is billed as the visual companion to the Uto Utopia album. And I've actually talked a couple times, I think, about this date, July 28th. At one point, I looked at July 28th through history, and some very important dates, uh, events happened on this date in various times through history, according including something about the 14th Amendment. I don't recall exactly what it was now, but it's my dad's birthday, and that's why I and I just remembered there were a couple of things that were like, ooh, well, this is not really that great a date for Americans, for the average American in history. <laughs> Interesting. I don't remember. I didn't go through it again. I just, it popped out at me, right? But the Circus Maximus film actually is dated the day before on 727, and that reminded me of the Simpsons movie, where they're trapped under a dome. That movie came out on January 27th of 2007. 27. So you've got 72727 for the Simpsons movie, which is 16 years before this event here. The Circus Maximus film, 75 minutes long, the visual companion to Utopia, right? So, what might be happening... Oh, I didn't mention 180 days from when this came out to the same date next week. Nine days from now. 180 days, 808 days. Okay, what's going on this day that might be related to our guy, Travis Scott, well, interestingly enough, it's something, and it's happening at a location I have spoken quite a bit about. This is my second take on this video, y'all. 
because for some reason the sound didn't come through. <laughs> so the sticky notes are starting to unstick themselves. Anyway, anyway, Circus Maximus in Chicago at the United Center. This is part of the Utopia tour. So he's taking his album on tour. This is typical behavior for uh, musical artists, yeah? And this particular one in Chicago has the name, it, there's concert poster tour, tour, tour posters? <laughs> and it's being called Circus Maximus. It's happening at the United Center, which I believe is where the Bulls and the Blackhawks have their games in Chicago, yes? Well, that's pretty interesting. But this 808, you know what I wanted to do? I wanted to add another 80 days on there to make it 888 and see what that came to, knowing that it's, well, that's pretty darn close to, and yes, it is, three days off from the upcoming total solar eclipse in April. April 11th, 2024 is 888 days after the crowd crush at the Astro World Festival in Houston. Well, that's interesting too. I'd be curious to know what uh, Travis Scott is scheduled to be doing in April. But he definitely has something going on in Chicago on January 22nd, right? Well, curiously enough, not, not only is this here interesting all by itself, right? But it's also 19 days before his 33rd birthday, April 30th, 1991, April 11th, plus 19 days, <laughs> Travis Scott will be 33 years old. So I got, this morning I was thinking about my own birthday. I'm just going to tack this on at the end here. I forgot to do this in the first take, actually, but today is the 13th day of 2024, and that leaves 353 days remaining. I don't think I wrote that on there. 353 days remain because it is a leap year, right? So there's 8 and 3, or you could do 3 and 8. I've seen all kinds of 83s and 3D and 3D8s. <laughs> hmm, 3D. Oh, that's another way to think about it. Somebody had a good one the other day about Alibaba and the 40 Thieves when I was talking about Ford and Alibaba. I was like, that's a good one, good one. Beastie Boys. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm terrible with names, y'all. <laughs> anyway, based on this date and my birthday, 19291 days. That's 19291 days I've been alive. Which is also 633 months and 23 days. And it's also, well, there's quite a range of seconds that fall in any particular day, right? So at first I had this as a 6 and then I changed it to a 1 to make it a palindrome. But as you can see, that's 1 and a whole bunch of 6s <laughs> seconds. That's how long I've been alive today, y'all. So, I hope you're having a good one. Let me know what you think about Travis Scott and Chicago and this coming April. Anything else you want to say in the comments? I love to read them. Thanks. Have a great day.